Welcome to Key Tech. If you are interested in today's video, please subscribe this channel. A chip the size of a fingernail needs to go through a series of complex and precise work before it can be applied to electronic products thanks to the efforts of Chinese scientists and enterprises China's wafer fabrication and chip design have reached the world's leading level but due to the lack of high-end lithography machines mass production of high-end chips has never been achieved in the face of China's chip dilemma Julinxia a semiconductor genius studying in the United States refused a high salary and all preferential treatment and resolutely chose to return to China when asked why he had to go back to China he said it wasn't a difficult decision for me before I went to study in the United States I made up my mind that I would go back to China after I finished my studies so rejecting a high salary was something I had long anticipated and decided on I don't know if you've heard the name Juinjie who successfully used his method in college to prove that in the case of quantum interference traditional mathematical theories are inapplicable do as a student solved the problem that had plagued scientists for many years later he went to study at rice university in the united states and chose semiconductor artificial graphene quantum simulation as his research direction during his studies he repeatedly made breakthroughs in the field of semiconductors at this time he was already man of the hour and the semiconductor industry in the United States will the United States just sit back and watch him leave what made you insist on returning to China as a rare semiconductor genius what breakthroughs has he made in this field and can he lead China out of the semiconductor crisis Let's get close to the story of Juinjie, a semiconductor genius. Juinjie was born in Zhenjing, Jiangsu. His parents were intellectuals and his family had a strong learning atmosphere under the influence of his father who did not like watching cartoons when he was young but liked watching science and education programs and science fiction stories. He was very interested in science since he was a child in 2011 to graduated with a master's degree with excellent grades he applied for a full scholarship to Rice University in the United States he followed the professor and began to conduct in-depth research on quantum simulation of semiconductor artificial graphene the reason why he chose this field is that he has a lot of foundation in quantum experiments in addition the research almost represents the development trend in the semiconductor field more importantly at that time do felt that the development of China's semiconductor field is basically restricted by the United States in all aspects and most of the semiconductor lattices come from nature rather than artificial he is very worried that semiconductors will be monopolized by the United States in the future resulting in China not even qualified to compete in this field because of the lack of talents he is willing to contribute to the development of his motherland later he went to Columbia University for a postdoc during this period do and Professor Pink Suck cooperated to realize the quantum model of semiconductor. Artificial graphene after that he developed a new set of nanofabrication processes himself these experimental results lay the foundation for a new platform for semiconductor artificial lattices to achieve quantum simulations of different topologies and novel electronic states do said lattices and energy bands are the foundation of the modern semiconductor industry and the regulation of energy bands is of great significance to the semiconductor industry before the lattice of most materials was natural now we can create our own through semiconductor electronic artificial lattices lattice some even do not exist in nature so as to achieve the purpose of energy band regulation better meet the needs and achieve specific electronic properties the realization of superconductivity on integratable artificial lattices of semiconductors could revolutionize the semiconductor industry from Rice University to Columbia University do switched from experimental electrical research to experimental optical 
Research someone asked him why did you choose to do optics to replied you have to do more things while you are young to broaden your horizons the world is very big and only with a wide horizon can you go to a bigger world do has repeatedly made breakthroughs in the field of semiconductors at this time he is already a man of the hour in the semiconductor industry in the United States the United States attaches great importance to do and offered him generous conditions to keep him in the United States but who knew that China was relatively weak in the semiconductor field and the chip battle between China and the United States was fierce at that time Du said how can I stay in the United States at this time he rejected the million dollar annual salary and high quality treatment offered by American companies and decided to return to China after returning to China Dow said I was blocked by the United States when I came back several Companies offered amazing salaries and promised to invest in the projects I was researching but I knew in my heart that the motherland needed me I study abroad in order to serve the motherland one day in 2019 to return to China and chose to return to his alma mater Nanjing University to work determined to make Chinese chips in less than five months after returning to China to set up a team and prepared infrastructure for work the school is very close to his hometown but after returning to China Dao has been busy building the laboratory and rarely returns home do said there must be no mistakes in the construction of the laboratory all aspects need to be considered and it is most reassuring to do it yourself at present do's research direction is based on semiconductor electronic devices through comprehensive electrical and optical measurement methods to study new condensed states and new topological states of electrons at extremely low temperatures as well as their Application in quantum computing due aid in terms of semiconductor. Electronic artificial lattice and other aspects the research done by our team is the most cutting edge in the world while doing research do is also committed to cultivating new forces for Chinese scientific research as a tutor he encourages students to try the integration of multiple disciplines which can effectively broaden their horizons he also shared his learning and research experience with students to help all in all the development of a country is inseparable from the support of talents. No matter in any era talent can play a key role in promoting all walks of life but to be honest China's education and training of top talents is far behind that of Western developed countries in order to allow them to learn more the state does not hesitate to give them public funds to study abroad some people are attracted by the technological environment of Western countries after graduation and never come back but there are also some people who give up the preferential treatment offered by Western countries and resolutely return to China among them is the semiconductor genius dueling gear although there is a gap between China and the United States today the gap is constantly narrowing due to the efforts of excellent patriotic scientists like Juingjie it is because of them that the future of China's semiconductors is bright and China's scientific research will have infinite possibilities okay that's all for today please put your Comments below and share your insightful ideas. See you.